Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of episode 1 of The Walking Dead and we are trying to find out how to get the keys uh, in the, to the pharmacy to help out the asshole Larry <laughs> and I'm outside with Doug Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? <laughs> Pretty smart, this guy. I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Nice. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? You saved Carly, didn't he? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Damn. What the hell? What? <laughs> hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Oh, come on. I was using the remote, you fool. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. <laughs> Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Jesus. Lee's brother. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh. So, you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. I can't reach that brick. Of course you can. <laughs> Let's head back inside. Okay. Now, where the hell do we go? Forgot what we're doing now. <laughs> I have to get the keys. How do we get the keys? Hey there. The last time I spoke to Carly, she was pissed with me, so uh, might not uh, go well this. <laughs> Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. Huh. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. 
They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? huh? Oh, nothing. Jesus. <laughs> How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Oh my. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, <laughs> by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Let's go, guys. We're just gonna go and jump straight in. No messing about. <laughs> You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Gonna save Glenn. Get down! One eye mood. any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. <laughs> we can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> well, it's giving you an overview of the, the map the area, I'm guessing. Yeah. Two up there, one there, one here. I'm on there. She's just five, that's all right. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. We can hide by that RV. If we're quiet and keep our heads down. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. <laughs> Might have an idea for it. Not only go. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Oh man. No. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Let's go to the truck. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Oh, 
What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. You could drop the pillow around your, um, your elbow, and then smash it with that. Be quiet. Or quieter. <laughs> I'm gonna Get smother it. But the noise. Just follow my oh, lead. Yeah, yeah. Stay right behind me. Die, bitch! Nice. That was sick! <laughs> Spark plug. It's a spark. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Spark in handy. Oh. Hey, that was awesome. <laughs> See the spark plug. Pour some inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay. Oh, what was the difference between throwing that through the window and putting your elbow through it? <laughs> That could scramble a brain if pretty good. A screwdriver. That's exactly what I was thinking. Now, uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Back over here. And do we stab the zombie here with it? I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Oh, yeah. Are you two done? <laughs> More. That should help. We doing all so far. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Here we go. from that board. I'm sure that wasn't there before. <laughs> Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. 
We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Come on, you silly minx. Open the door. I'm chopping it down. <laughs> Here is Johnny. <laughs> oh, I just had to. <laughs> Would have been so much stop, cooler if he stop. put the axe through the door. <laughs> coming out. Put his head through it. <laughs> <laughs> You're hurt. Oh God. Oh, I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. She's been bit. Guys, she's been bitten. Yeah. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. Damn. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Super cool, Glenn. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Uh, go on. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Uh, I'm sure suicide is against, like, some religion. I'm sure that's not Christian, isn't it? Not suicide is not Christian. I don't think. I don't know, but I think she's got it wrong. Either her or I do. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not religious, so I don't know. Then shoot her. Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her. Help her out here. You're insane. Do Just it. take this thing. Oh, come on, Carly. Should have shot her. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Yeah. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Oh, thank you. Boosh. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, guys, well, that has been part five of episode one. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I always enjoy playing games and commentating. <laughs> Alright guys, part 6 will be up very shortly, so stay tuned for that. Okay, see you later guys, bye.